controversy for the Bruins. The team now facing criticism for signing a player accused of bullying a disabled classmate as a teenager. The team signed Mitchell Miller, a defenseman who admitted to bullying his classmate in the eighth grade. Yeah, the Bruins are standing by their decision so far, despite outrage from the victim's family and a whole lot of fans. We have team coverage tonight. We start with WBC's Dan Roach. And Dan, Bruins say that Miller spoke with the victim, but his mother told us a different story. Yeah, David, Bruins general manager Don Sweeney says they expected criticism over this move, and it was also apparent that Sweeney himself struggled with the decision. Now, Miller's bullying incident in 2016 when he was just 14 was known to the NHL and their teams before the Arizona Coyotes drafted him in 2020. But the Coyotes released him after they said they learned more details of the bullying. Now, Miller said in a press release today that he had apologized to the classmate and Sweeney said that the key to the Bruins bringing him on board. But the victim's mother told WBZ's Paula Eben today that Miller only made contact with her son last week. We are incredibly respectful of of what this young man was put through and uh um we felt it was imperative that uh, that mitchell spoke to him um prior to even considering uh, moving forward why did he wait a week ago when he knew he was being signed to the bruins to reach out to our son so it didn't so he didn't get as much slack this time hmm. I mean, part of part of being remorseful and changing is going to the person that you hurt and being remorseful. So Mitchell and Isaiah have never spoken face to face. No. About the incident. No. Now, Miller practiced with the Providence Bruins for the first time today. We shall see what happens after that. David. All right. Thank you, Rochi. Well, Isaiah's mother told us what happened to her was far more than a one-time incident. WBZ's Paula Evan joins us now with more on her conversation with Isaiah's mother. Paula. Well, David, I spoke with Joni Meyer Crothers right after the Bruins made that announcement. She tells me the Bruins didn't lay out the whole story. This was years and years and years and years of torment. Meyer Crothers gave us this photo of her son now in his 20s, but she says when he was younger, he suffered years of abuse at the hands of Miller. She wants everyone to know that calling this a one-time mistake dismisses the true horror of what her son lived through at school. What Mitchell did to my son is not a mistake. And I think the biggest thing that I want to get across again is it wasn't a one-time thing. When you put a push pop in a urinal and have a kid lick it, that's not a mistake. You thought that out. And these people that want to say, well, he was only 14 years old, you tell me how many 14-year-old kids would put a push pop in a urinal and give it to a kid. And she tells me, David, she is still waiting for a proper apology from Miller. Yeah, and he did say today that it was an incident. But the mother said years and years. So big difference in those stories. Thank you so much.